class. Uh, today we are going to take our object creation uh, to the next level. We're going to go ahead and create a critter. Matter of fact, uh, our critter itself uh, is going to have a couple of options for us. Uh, basically, I told you before, we can create anything we want. Uh, so we're going to create, uh, if you recall years ago, they had these little like digital pets or Tamagotchi things. Uh, something kind of akin to that. Uh, we're going to create the object. Uh, we're just going to call it basically Critter. Uh, and then we're going to have a couple of options. And of course you can feel free to change some stuff as you want. Play around with it. That's, that's really the best way to do anything, the best way to learn anything. Now our Critter, we're going to have a couple of options. We're going to be able to name it. And then we're going to be able to feed, play, talk, and then finally quit. Uh, those are the options that we're going to have. So depending on how you want to envision your critter, uh, I, this is not going to be a, a thing we could physically see. Although if you wanted to, you know, look up a couple of things, you could have images load up of your critter. Animated GIFs go back and forth and play when certain things happen. Uh, that wouldn't be tremendously difficult. If I feed it, an animated GIF plays of it eating. If I play with it, an animated GIF plays of it, you know, playing or, or vi video even. Uh, now, as far as the critter goes, you can envision it however you like. There is, of course, the old movie critters, as you can see. Warm and fuzzy and friendly. Of course, if you prefer something that actually is warm, fuzzy, and friendly, you could choose something else. Uh, to imagine in your head all you want. Uh, or maybe even something else. Warm and fuzzy and friendly. Like so. Mr. Saturn. But again, it doesn't really matter what you envision. You can imagine whatever you want. Uh, so let's see. Uh, what we can put together here. Now my critter itself, and you just have to make a project, call it critter. Uh, we're going to right click new Java class and you're going to create critter. You're going to have your main too and we'll worry about that here in a little bit. Uh, the most important thing is to create the object first. <coughs> so in our object Effectively, we're just going to have, let's go ahead and just show just this part for now. Uh, we need a couple of variables. Now, when I decide uh, what I want to do with this critter, and, and I'm minimizing it a lot here, uh, my critter needs a name. It needs a hunger level, so I know how hungry it is. Happiness, so I know how happy it is. Uh, my constructor, right here, is the next method. Uh, this actually builds my critter. So, we take a look at this, and I can give it a name. So when I create it, I pass the name to it. By default, hunger and happiness will be 10. And on my mental scale, 10 is going to be the highest. Whereas, you know, less, it means hunger or means less happy, that sort of thing. Uh, but however you envision the numbers, it doesn't particularly matter. I'm just telling you how this is going to work for mine. And then, of course, it prints that my critter has been born. Now, I said we have to feed it, so we feed it. Now, if you want to add in a little extra here. Uh, I've got it set basically so you feed it and the hunger just sit, resets the 10 so it's full again. Uh, but if you wanted to have like a little menu here for them to choose uh, what type of food they want to give them, you know, a snack, a full course meal, uh, you know, something in between, and it adds and it sets the number to, you know, plus 5, plus 10, whatever you want. Uh, you could do that for a little extra practice here uh, and add the different amounts. Uh, that'd be something that you can try that's a little extra here. Now, 
play plays, you know, as the critter's happiness, you know, because the happiness is hunger is going to go down every time that we rotate through our turn, basically, our menu. Uh, he gets bored, so we have to play with him. So in the play method, public void play, we just simply say we play with him. Happiness goes up, and playing, of course, exerts some energy, so I assume hunger will go down. Minus equals 2 means we're subtracting 2 from whatever the number is. Number is 10, we subtract 2 from it. Just like that. Now, again, if you want some extra practice, same as above, but give different options to play. Throw a ball. Uh, go to a playground. Play a uh, three-hour session of video games. You know, Whatever you want. Uh, you can add in some extra stuff there. Display is just going to display the stats of this critter. Uh, I'm going to print their name. And slash T gives me five spaces. I print how much their hunger is. Slash T, I print their happiness, how much their happiness is. So all this is just going to do is just display their information. That's public void display. Now I go down a little bit. Now we're going to be able to talk to this guy here. So, and you can change this if you want. In my version here, uh, it's just going to basically tell us how hungry or how happy it is. Uh, if it is completely full, well, it'll say it's full. If it is, you know, a little peckish, well, then it'll tell you it can eat. Uh, if it's starting to get really hungry, it'll tell you. If it is starving to death, it will tell you. Uh, the same is true for happiness. I'm happy. Play with me. He glares at you while sharpening a knife. He laughs maniacally as it charges at you with a knife. That just shows how happy he is. Again, keep in mind the first critter I was envisioning when I was doing this. Uh, there you go. And of course, you could change this all you want. Even have a little interactive conversation if you wanted to add some extra stuff to it. Uh, and by all means, play with it. Do it. Uh, the more you do that, the you know more you learn. Now I have a method called get name that's going to get the name. Since my name at the top is private, I can't get the name straight away by saying you know this critter dot name. But I have this method that will get me the name. So when I'm running the program in the main, I can tell what the name is. Now drop. I assume every time you run to the menu, uh, it will get less happy and a little hungrier. Uh, so if you don't pick anything or you pick choose to do nothing or something else, you know, or even if you choose to feed it, it'll still drop uh, a few points every rotation. Uh, that way it'll get more and more grumpy the longer you don't actually feed or play with it. Again, you can adjust those however you want. I, I just chose you know, to, it to go down one every time. Uh, so it's not impossible to please, so to speak. And that is the end of the critter class, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't have a lot going on with it. Uh, and again, you can add extra features if you prefer. Uh, the old Tamagotchi pets could battle each other and stuff, uh, which was fun. Uh, they'd even poop when they got too full and you had to clean it up. If critter has pooped, you know, poop count. They have three poops in the room with them. Their happiness goes down exponentially. Maybe they get sick. Uh, there's all kinds of things you could add if you wanted to. Uh, but this is the top. And it's just the bottom here as we go down the list. All right, now let's check the main that's going to use this. Now, most of the stuff that we're dealing with is going to happen in the critter. The main actually is not tremendously long. Uh, and the more you can put in the critter, the better. Uh, honestly, I could put this whole menu in the critter, too, if I wanted to. Uh, maybe take all this code here and call it interact, perhaps. Uh, Critter.interact, and this menu would run. Uh, and then this would only be a handful of lines if I did that. 
but I'm going to leave it as it is for now. But if you wanted to, you know, I could go to Critter, Public Void, Interact, and then just kind of move most of this over. Uh, display would just be display. Uh, everything else would kind of be the same. Uh, I would have to put a scanner in that interact method in the other side, but I, I could do that. And then this would be a little bit easier. So in the main, we have our scanner. We have our scanner set up in the main. I have my import at the top. And the very first thing I ask is to give me the name. I type it in, and then I create the critter. I, If you remember before, our critter takes a string name, and then it creates it. So I write whatever name I want, it goes in, creates it. Now I'm using this boolean end equals false for my loop. So end is false, so that means keep going. While not true, keep going. Uh, once it becomes true, this loop ends. I display the stats of my critter, and I ask the user to choose an option. Now, I'm the way I've written this, actually, uh, I take in the input and I just convert it all to lowercase. So it doesn't matter if they uppercase it, lowercase it, I don't really care. Uh, so in is what they typed in. And I say in dot to lowercase dot equals feed. Since it's all lowercase, you know, it doesn't matter if they capped it all or cap one letter or not. Uh, it will work for all the above. Now if I do this, that will never ever be able to run because it's always going to be lowercase when I type it in even if I uppercase everything it can never compare this uppercase to what's going to be a lowercase uh, so that's why these have to be lowercase and that's a common error people end up running now my critter has the feed method so I call feed my critter has the play method I call play it has the talk method I call talk and then quit just leaves ends the program, it's true, it's over. Anything else, the critter looks at me weirdly. And then I run drop, which drops the points every round. To see what that looks like, give me your critter's name. Let's see, how about mm, Perry Porker. Perry Porker is 10 hungry, 10 happiness. I will Dance! Perry Porker looks at me weirdly. And notice his stats went down. I will sing. Alright. I will talk to Perry Porker. He could eat and he wants me to play with him. I will press random buttons and talk again. I will feed him. And of course, if I, if I go again, that's going to go into the negative. Because uh, I didn't put anything in there to stop that. Play, feed, talk. Quit. You decided to leave. You squish poor Perry Porker, you monster. And that's basically a little, very simple critter. Uh, and as I said before, if you want to change a couple of things, we could put this into its own method inside critter, making the main like 10 lines long. Uh, we could also edit Critter a little bit so it's a little more fleshed out and can do a little bit more stuff. Uh, I, I did, my stuff was pretty generic, but that's what I wanted. Uh, if you want to add more stuff, by all means, do it. Uh, but that is Critter.